Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. Today we're going to be going through Pokemon buffs that you wanted. So I asked on Twitter the other day, actually it's the same day as when I'm recording this, not even that many hours ago. But I asked on Twitter, uh, what are some Pokemon that you think need buffs and let me know their buffs and why you want them. Now normally this type of video I will edit and I'll make it a lot shorter. But because it's got way more replies than what I originally thought, I'm just going to go through as many of them as possible in about an hour's time and get my thoughts on them. Probably laugh at, you know... Some of them are just outrageous and just you know, have a good time. So if you guys do like this type of video, feel free to subscribe, leave a like. I'm on my way to 300,000 subscribers. That's my end of the year goal. And of course, follow me on Twitter because I'll probably be doing this a little bit more frequently. And it's always cool to see um, other people's opinions, especially on Pokemon. So, I mean, let's just scroll down. We'll be going through some quote tweets as well. So James says, Reggie Alecki and Reggie Drago, better move pull would be more available. So I'm going to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that right there. I think that Regilecki and Regidrago have broken abilities. Uh, just the immediate boost in dragon moves as well as electric type attacks. And specifically in Regilecki's uh, case, it has some incredible speed to it. So I think it'd be broken if it had, let's just say Ice Beam. Let's throw Ice Beam right there. So imagine Bolt Beam coverage and even with only base 100 special attack, I think it's still just too much for that Pokemon. I feel like, and same thing with Regidrago, like Dragon Energy, not to mention it's uh, amazing HP, uh, good speed tier and whatnot as well so i feel like they are kind of perfect the way they are but that's just my personal opinion glass cure better speed tier base 100 with heavy duty boots would be nice hell yeah that'd be broken too that mall hella broke dragon ball poltergeist dd so my buddy james here kind of just wanted to make all the mons really really busted i don't mind uh dd or actually, i don't mind poltergeist on dragon ball but i feel like it would be just way too much specifically in like dynamax meta games as well frost moth at base 100 speed i think will be manageable as long as it doesn't have roost still uh luxury with more speed Sure, honestly, Luxray in general just needs this huge buff regardless, right? Maybe like something like uh, Dark Typing added to it so it could abuse Crunch or shoot, give it Wicked Blow, I don't care. <laughs> Justin says, give Umbreon follow me and a little bit more speed. So this is uh, more so for the VGC era. I don't really have too much to like, say about that, though I do think in, in VGC in general, Umbreon just takes so many hits, so. And I know it has helping hand as well. Deoxys attack form. I don't know how, but this sucks. Maybe give Deoxys Magic Guard as a new ability. Deoxys playable on Ubers, but it was never really insane. Damn. <laughs> that dude had an opinion on this mod. But it was never really insane. I mean, again, I think it's just, that's more so a case of the metagame changing. Because Deoxys is still a, a, annoying, right? Cycle boost, ice beam, sewer power. has great coverage. I'm sure they want to give it flamethrower though. Lantern. Not really too much like on there, so I'm not gonna say too much on that. But uh, I guess if I had to say lantern too, I think that energy ball would be really cool when it came to lantern. Um, kind of you know something to differentiate it. I love its typing, but there's not too many reasons why I use lantern over something like a Rotom Wash, for instance. But energy ball would be really cool too because you'd be able to deal with opposing Pokemon that stop your typing, which is actually like Sizem Toad and Gashadon. So I kind of like that. Jump Love, give it Solar Power instead of Chlorophyll, and give it Air Slash. Ooh, okay. See, I kind of like this too, because if I'm not mistaken, Jump Bluff learns Growth. So, if you already have um, the Annoying Subseed, right? You already have the Annoying Subseed. And then Jump Bluff already has good speed, right? Base 110. It actually has terrible special attack as well, so it would need something like... Does it even learn Growth? Um, um, yeah, it does. It does not learn Growth. Oh, okay, well... I'd add that to that list too, because this mod just sucks. But I mean, with Solar Power and Life Orb, maybe with like Giga Drain or Solar Beam and Air Slash, you could actually do... Ah, this mod sucks, bro. How does Shofu favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Toxicity deserves a speed buff. I want to see him in OU. Ah, I can agree with it. A little bit, maybe a little bit too busted too, because it'd be like, what, fast x basically at that point. Give Embor High Jump Kick or at least Submission. It will still suck, but at least give it a Fighting Recall move. Good for its Reckless ability. Give the Polyto line, Goliath Size and Empoleon flip chart. That I can hella agree with, man. That I can hella agree with. Specifically, I think Empoleon, Goliathopod, and um, maybe not so much Size and because I think Size and already has too much uh, going for it in terms of utility. Stealth Rock, Knock Off, Scald. Obviously, it's one of the few. It can run Toxic, excuse me, as well. Um, and obviously, the Water Absorb, too. And of course, for Polyto, that'd be game changing as well, because if you had to know, Pelipper is not really that good of a Pokemon. Um, but we use it in OU because it has the rain and also it has access to U-turn. Those are like the big things. But if Polito could just go for flip turn whenever it felt like it, then that's great. Obviously, the roost is the big difference between the two. 
but uh, make discharge lava plume tms and give it to all electric and fire types like scald hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah i'm with it i'm with it i'm tired of dealing with just zapdos and tox effects shoot and he trained with their lava plumes i'm trying to get lava plume by a blaziken or dish yeah hell yeah give galarian birds roost 100 percent the Pokemon that needs the most buffs is Sword Shield Battle Timer. Okay, it's a ghost type Pokemon with the ability that makes it fade if you don't finish your battle in 20 minutes. <laughs> Neither Sheep with Sinistrax have extra 10 base speed. It's too weak. Get out of here, Ibby. <laughs> Seismito needs a move pull buff. Uh, Samurott needs a better hidden ability. Sam I said Seismito, but Samurott needs a move pull buff. Samurott needs a better hidden ability. Samurott needs a uh, Shell Smash. Samurott needs more speed. I feel like all of this could just be summarized. Like, let's say they gave Samurott the fighting type, right? So if it was water and fighting, I mean, it makes sense. Look at the way Samurott looks. It actually just straight up looks like it should be. Uh, it's, it's a Samurai. So uh, it already has Sacred Sword, it's Wupo. It has Swords Dance, it has Liquidation, it has Aqua Jet, it has Knock Off, it has Mega Horn, it has Super Power. Like, it doesn't really need a stronger move pull. Uh, and even on the special side, it has Hydro Pump, Grass Knot, Ice Beam. So like, it basically has everything it needs at that point. I don't know if... Well, Shell Smash might actually be nasty because it basically be stronger Blastoise at that point. It'd just be stronger than Blastoise that can run really, really good. But I didn't think that if they gave it that fighting typing, it'd actually be a lot better, just as a Pokemon. I, I do agree with the more speed as well, though, if they didn't change anything about it. At least base 80, man. Base 70 is not it, man. Give it something above. Give Buffalo a better speed stat. Quagsire and Gastrodon rock. Straight beyond regular spikes as well as Skuntank. So when it comes to Quagsire and Gastrodon, I kind of like them the way they are in a sense. Uh, I think that the cool thing about the water ground mons is they, they're really different from each other, right? You use Quagsire as your physical unaware wall. You use Gastrodon as your uh, special or physical sponge, depending on how you do it, with Recover and Storm Drain. Whereas Seismitoad can do that too, but doesn't have the recovery, but can go for knockoff and, and um, usually can be offensive in rain as well. And then you have Swampert, which can do all uh, the defensive part but also can tank moves, but can also flip turns. So I kind of like that they differentiate from each other. Drapey on regular spikes, I'm with that too. Skuntank, I think Skuntank in general could use any type of like hazard. I think that worked for it. It doesn't unfortunately get Toxic Spike, which really sucks because I think that Skuntank's Poison Dark. I mean, Poison Dark is just amazing coverage, right? That is something you definitely, it gets free turns. It definitely gets free turns. And a Poison type that can 100% Toxic you, but also set up spikes, I love it. Would be cool if Meloetta could start the battle in a pirouette form. I think it'd also be cool if that when Meloetta becomes a pirouette form, it stays that form after doing it and not having to click Relic Song every single time. Make Masquerade part water. 100% with it. Water and Bug is great offensive typing. Look at Araquanid, look at Glyzabot. Obviously, there's some stuff going for them too, like First Impression. And of course, Araquanid has three abilities in one, which is ridiculous. But Water Bubble is such a crazy ability, right? Like, the, your, your fire type attacks are weakened, right? On top of that, you can't be burnt. On top of that, your po your water power is two times. Like, what? It's too much. But yeah, I like that, especially with Quiver Dance. It has Hydro Pump already in Smooth Pool. Bug Buzz. Doesn't really need too much. Ice Beam as well. So yeah, Air Slash if it wants. It doesn't have to run Air Slash if it needs to part water. You're definitely keeping the bug typing, I think. Buff Wishy Washy stats across the board. Give it a better move pool, like adding Recover, Fighting Moves, and other physical moves. Damn. All right, so Wishy Washy is a really, really bulky mod. And obviously, the drawback is it's low base HP. And the fact that if it gets under 25%, it becomes the one wishy washy instead of the school form. I do think Close Combat would be really nice for it. Uh, I like Close Combat U-Turn Liquidation. Um, I think Recover, it might be going a little bit too far. Um, and it kind of just gets rid of the point of it. But uh, I think Fighting Moves for sure would be a big one like Close Combat. Taurus is style and get Head Charger, Head Smash, and cl Crush Claw. I feel like this is also a product. I think Taurus is good because it has Body Slam plus Sheer Force. But Stalin needs something, man. Because, oh, I love Head Smash as well with Tauros. Hell yeah, that makes hella sense. Um, but Stalin needs something because right now its physical moves are what? Facade and Giga Impact and Retaliate. Some trash. They got rid of Return and Frustration. That mod is just straight up. Like, it can't do anything. It's garbage. They should just switch the stats, move point ability of Tangrowth and Maractus because Maractus looks cooler. <laughs> That's so disrespectful. That is so disrespectful. Also, I think Maractus makes more sense to have Storm Drain than Tangrowth does. Corrosion should work like Scrappy for Steel types. Yes. Or give them a freeze dry ass move. Yes. I'm just tired of every poison type being consistently bad every gen outside of Gengar and Toxpex. I mean, there's, you know, there's some, uh, a few other options as well. Like you, you have, wow, it's not coming to mind. You have Needle King, which is really good because of its poison typing. You have Galarian Slow King and whatnot, but they're like, they're not going for, they have other options as well. Like they have amazing move pools. So they're kind of going for their own thing outside of that. 
Wish Cash needs a buff. Switch some over hydration. Okay. Base stat overall, keeping it 468 pool. It has 110 HP, attack 90, 74 defense, 74 speed depth, 60 speed. This way it can be built a little more offensively and be a rain sweeper. I mean, so if we look at current Wish Cash stat, Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> 78 base attack. This is not it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with you, bro. Hell yeah. And Wish Cash is so. It's so lackluster, man. You know, it's the water ground that sucks. Like, it's probably the worst. I got let me look at let me look at water ground as a typing because I already named a few before. All right, you have water and you have ground. So water right here. And then just to put the ground as well. I'm pretty sure I uh, I put them all before, but yep. Swamper, Quagsire, Sizem Toe, Gastrodon, and then freaking Whizcash. Are you kidding me, dude? There's there's a hierarchy of these, but like at least all of them. Have, so when I think about viability, obviously I'm talking about like high tiers like OU or something, right? Or um, even at least VGC in a sense, like or Battle Stadium, right? Swamper can do like yawn stuff, protect. Uh, Sesame Token swift, swim, sweep. Quagsire can still be great for stalling, and Gastrodon can do very similar. But Wizcash, bro, what the hell happened to you, man? Who stepped on you like and just destroyed all your stats? Like even the others, like Quagsire and Gastrodon, don't really have great offensive stats, but it's more, it's better distributed for sure. Fabi, Flygon, it has all the tools that needs to be amazing, but the base stats betray him. Give him a flat 20 points buff in either special attack, thus making special sets viable or usable, or 10 points in attack and speed. Bandit sets will do uh, menacing, or just give it 1,000 arrows. <laughs> okay, we can't give it 1,000 arrows. We can't give it 1,000 arrows. That's too broken of a move. But I do agree. I think that uh, Pokemon from Gen 4 and down all need some type of buff because, as you saw from Gen 5 and up, the power creep has kind of like been... Like, smacking us, right? Gen 5 had some of the craziest Pokemon. We had, like, Terrakion and Ferrothorn Hydreigon. We had so many OU from when it came to Gen 5 as well. And then you go even farther, right? Look at Kartana in Gen 7. Friggin' 10 million attack. My favorite Pokemon, give it drop, plus 11 in speed, 11 in special attack, or bring back Megas and give it one. Okay, they're talking about Typhlosion. Um, I do think the Gen 2 starters as well kind of got shafted. Uh, competitively, they're probably among the worst. Um... Yeah, because at least the Gen 5 starters, Superior, Embor, and the freaking... Why can't I remember the... Wa Samurai, we were just talking about it. At least they have Superior with Contrary, right? So that actually gave it something. But, like, for the Gen 2 starters, Meganium... Yeah, it's probably one of the worst starters competitively ever. Uh, Typhlosion is only known for Choice Scar for Choice Specs Eruption, which I think Drought would be nasty for it. And then Feraligatr obviously is good with Sheer Force and Dragonus. They're not in the game. But these are the ones that really got, like, nothing out of it, right? Gen 1 got a lot. Gen 3 got Megas, right? Uh, Gen 4 starters were some of the best starters. I mean, Empoleon and Infernape were amazing, right? We already know the Gen, uh, Gen 5 starters as well, Gen 6. Uh, we talked about Gen 5, I and mean, we have Gen 6 and 7, Gen 8. Obviously, we have, like, you know, Gren going and all that stuff, too. Incineroar was nasty. Uh, and especially with Intimidate and one of that, Primarine is amazing, like, at least offensively. So, yeah, they, so they have, like, a lot going on with this. I, I definitely, I don't know if 11 more in speed would do it, but definitely over base 100. I mean, they just gave it Charizard stats, but the thing is, they gave Charizard everything. They didn't give Typhlosion anything. Enten needs a better move, pull no cap. Uh, so, like, what could you give Entei? Obviously, the first one is Earthquake, right? So, when you think of Entei, right, it, it, I think immediately you think of, Pokemon that can't like that can't do Earthquake. So Entei cannot do Earthquake, right? The best thing it could do is like Bulldoze or anything like that. But then if you go to like baby Pokemon and just keep going more and more, like, like a freaking Manti. Manti can learn Earthquake. That it's not even on the Earth. It's in the water. I mean, it's on the Earth, but you know what I mean. Like it's 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 in the water, right? Why is that thing Earthquaking, right? But why can't Entei do it? I'm okay. How can Corsola Earthquake? It's a rock that doesn't move. It just gets eaten by Toxapex. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's actually insane. Like, I'm looking at, like, Bronzor can Earthquake. <laughs> Slowpoke can Earthquake. Get out of here. Why can Wooper Earthquake? I mean, it's, it's ground, but why can't Entei? So I think uh, Earthquake is good. Obviously, Sacred Fire Flare, but it's a good extreme speed. is fine. Um, I don't know. Uh, earthquake would be the big one. I'm trying to think of, like, something else. Like, you can't give it Leaf Blade, right? Does it make sense for that? Solar Blade makes a little bit of sense, I suppose. Eh, that's Solar Beam. Get Metagross, it's Mega Back. They change the Steel type. Hurt it pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, Met Metagross probably just needs close combat too. Talonflame, the best small on bird, needs to be unnerved. Facts, but unfortunately in VGC, this model is broken. So we, uh, 
we, we can't really do too much about that. I do think that anything above 50%, though, like if you have 51% or more, should give you the priority, at least, just for that. Like, you don't have to nerf it completely, that make it be a max HP, bro. You want heavy to the boots, dude. I only got, like, one turn. Let's see what they have on the code of tweets. Give Lopany bigger hips. All right, let's get out of the uh, let's get out of the quota tweets real quick. That's that's dangerous. That's that's, da that's some dangerous. Uh, we'll go back to that later. That's some dangerous opinions. I've always loved firing design, especially using special attack. But the special attack is so weak. Yep, we already talked about with that with Lamar. Tinted lens makes a lot of sense. Quiver dance too. It already has boom burst as well. A uh, boom burst plus tinted lens would be pretty nice. Uh, as well as just like flamethrower, earth power. Yeah, base eighty just sucks. Luminial with quiver dance and moonlight, please, and maybe some stats while you're feeling generous. Damn. A lot of people agree with Sam there. Uh, Luminion needs like <sighs> that mod needs an overhaul too. That's another mod you forget. I mean, I think the big thing about Luminion is it's a U-turner that can defog, so like it's pretty unique for a pure water type. But then you have like Pelipper, who doesn't care. Even on the special side, what does Luminion have? Ice Beam, Surf. Yep, standard, standard dot, standard dot water, nothing else. But I guess if you use Ice Beam and Surf plus Quiver, Roost. Bruce, was Quiver Moonlight that could work? Couldn't abuse it in uh, couldn't abuse it in rain though because of moonlights. Give Opsy an ability to help it break stall, maybe increase its speed a bit, change its typing so it's a quad weak to fighting. Oh yeah, make it always create a dark type move. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Sleepy, for uh, for naming our sheep there. <laughs> Chance to get triage, it's been seen, it's been seen in the anime as an aid to Nurse Joy, so it, give it the priority healing. <laughs> Bro, imagine Chancy. With the ability to heal. <laughs> Yo! But it's draining type moves though. So if I actually look at triage as a move itself, I don't think soft boil qualifies. Affected moves. Draining kiss, floral healing, giga drain, rest, synthesis, absorb. Soft boil does qualify. Uh, qualify. Soft boil uh, does qualify. No. You will not do- Or oh, priority! Dude, Chansey also has Healing Wish. Hell no! And has Priority Wish too? No! No, you stop this right now. No. Let me just give it- Just give it the boost without holding the Violet too, so we can run heavy duty boots on it as well. Bro, imagine Chansey going for Priority Healing Wish. Like, it's at 1 HP and you got a hella fast Pokemon. Let's say the fastest mod you got right there. You got Ninjazzy at plus 6 speed for whatever reason you're using that and you're fighting a Chansey. And it, it's at 1 HP and it goes for Healing Wish and it brings out, like, Steelix. So Ninjas ain't ever beating it. That would be nasty. You crazy. Vikavolt. Literally, the Pokedex says that crosses for us at very high speed and then 43 base speed. I'm not asking for, like, 120, but 90s more or less should be perfect. Hold up. 43 base speed? If we, if we, uh... If we think that as miles per hour, 43 miles per hour is pretty freaking fast, bro. I just think all the Pokemon, they're just sprinters out there. Yeah, but, like, at least 90, 90 maybe, um... For this Pokemon, uh, if you if you look at Vikavolt's stats, right, it's kind of really good. Uh, Bug and Electric is really good with Levitate, right? Bug and Electric is really good with Levitate, and it has some good natural resistances because of that. Base 90 defense, base 75, uh, average special defense, average HP at 77. Yeah, I mean, with base, but is giving something with base 145 its uh, special attack with Bug Buzz, Energy Ball, right? It already has Bug Buzz, it has Energy Ball, it has Thunderbolt. Uh, it has access to Sticky Web as well. They buffed it with Sticky Web, but that was about it. I think it might be a little bit too much, but I think like even base 80 might be a little bit too much, but at least base 60, I think, goes a long way. Uh, it'd be able to outspeed things like defensive landers without caring. That's a big one without like like very little investment, things like Crawdall and stuff like that. So I would like that feature. I think 90 is a little bit too much for a base 145 special attack mod. But then again, we have Spectriere who has base 1 million special attack and high speed. Give Bionite's nice. Weave out ability to actually has benefit, like Technician. Oh my god, Technician plus uh, freaking Triple Axle. That's a V-Create, man. Not to mention there's Stab on that, too. So it'd be stronger than a V-Create from Victini on three hits. I am with it. Let's just make everything broken. That's a, That seems to be the common trend here. Everybody wants everything broken. I wish Scrappy was better. I think it's a good, reliable... I wish Scrafty... Okay, I was about to say Scrappy is really good. I think it needs a good, reliable recovery move or more attack. Uh, I was thinking like Scrafty pulls up its pants, and I was thinking of like Shore Up, but it could be like Pull Up, so it'd be, it'd be like a a fighting type uh, healing move. I'd be okay with that. It'd have to be pretty low PP though, like not 16, not 32, obviously like back in the day. But 
Something like 8 PP I think could be worked for fighting types. You don't have to give it to everything, just fighting types that wear pants. <laughs> or shirts or whatever, right? Um, but that could work. Uh, I think that'd be more than enough for Scrafty as well. Like Dragon Dance, like bulky sets could do that. Dredagon could have benefited from some sort of recovery or better base defense to make use of rough skin better. Uh, Dredagon has amazing move pool too, but yeah, 90 base defense. I would love if they gave Dredagon the, uh, the Como treatment where it had 110 attack, 125 defense. Because Dredagon, like, Como looks like Dredagon with scales, but Dredagon also, it looks like it should be able to tank multiple hits. I mean, being pure Dragon, you have some great defensive typing anyway, right? Like base 90 across, but yeah, base 100, base like, more so like uh, Como, but the Como is the pseudo legendary, so I guess they couldn't do that. But they can do that without buffing the rest of the stats. They could at least give it base 100 or base 110 defense. Rotom Frost, give Rotom access to hidden ability based on the form, and give it re refrigerate. <laughs> With hyper, I love that. Does slightly better. If y'all didn't know, Rotom is a refrigerator. Oh, does slightly less damage than Blizzard while ensuring no misses. It makes it up for debate if it has an immunity or a weakness to ground. I like that. I like that a lot. You can just run it with boots. I like that. I like that. Like, plus, Bolt Beam is like already really good coverage. Um, yeah, Ice, Ice and Electric is incredible coverage. That's why a lot of Pokemon, if they can run it, they will uh, run it. And we have Arctozoa and Rotom Frost for that. So. Butterfield with more special and accurate moves to complement compound eyes and his special attack stat. Huh. Alright, what are we giving Butterfield? We're giving a Zap Cannon as Gen 1. We're giving a Zap Cannon? I feel like we're giving a Zap Cannon. I feel like that's what we're doing. We already have Hurricane. Uh, with Tinted Lens, we don't really care. We have Bug Buzz as well, but this is not. We have Giga Drain. We have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a Zap Cannon. Shoot. I feel like it's it makes sense because Bug gets Zap. Like, zzz, zzz. Go look needs Shadow Sneak and more speed in general. The Pokes just said it flies at mock speed. Jesus. Scrafty needs Sucker Punch. I can like that. I like that, especially on like support Scrafty, especially like in the VGC era with like fake out Sucker Punch or even then in general. Ridiculous needs anything that hits dark types that isn't uh, focus miss. If you wanted to make this and you wanted to make it like not broken, you'd probably have to make it like weak dazzling gleam or something. I feel I feel that would be it. Or draining kiss. Hmm. No, Draining Kiss makes everything nasty. Actually, no, give it Draining Kiss because it's very weak. It gives a recovery, but it's like the price is it's super weak. I, th I don't even think it'd be broken. Like, it's broken on fairy types because it gets stabbed, but it's not broken on that. I'm okay with Shadow Sneak. I feel like if Golic actually flies amongst the Pokedex, is a damn lie, though. Septile needs more offensive power than freaking Amoongus. <laughs> so does Talonflame. Dark Shifu needs buffs, like at least 20 more base speed. Hey, stop it, Kino. The situation has cool design, has pre uh, pretty unique and usable ability. Just make it faster so it's usable. I think that's the thing with ghost types, man. Like, it's base 70 again is just not enough for this Pokemon. It needs to be. It needs to be in a, a sense that, like, there's dark types above it. It, ne it needs to be, like, Hitmonlee speed, I feel. Right? Just, just Hitmonlee speed. Still, plenty of mods fast in it. It has great offensive coverage because ghost is amazing physical. Like, and uh, ghost is amazing stab, period, right? And grass is such great stab, too. Yeah, give it Hitmonlee speed so it can still be beaten by birds so it's not broken and. Obviously, faster dark types like a Dragon and Obstagoon and whatnot, but it'd be better. Give my boy Durant more speed, at least 115 to 120. Also, I want a new. Dude. Also, want a new bug move on it that does 80, 80 damage with a 20% chance to flinch. Call it Bullet Bite. <laughs> this is Bullet Ant with Rock Slide, Iron Head, and Hustle. It would be the ultimate Haxmon. Stop it. I mean, it's not going to be the ultimate Haxmon anyway because it's just going to miss <laughs> most of the time, but 115 to 120 is too much for Durant. I think it's speed tier. If we're going to do anything to Durant and we're going to put it above like the base 110s, you need to make it like base 111 or something random like that. So it's just above Latios, but not like crazy, like 115, 120. Crazy. Watch how it's very useless. It would be fun to see it actually used. But how would you do it, dude? Let's throw that Pokemon out. Just don't allow it in the next game. <laughs> Give Mimikyu its old, disgu its old disguise ability. So, I mean, I think the reason they did this as well is because Mimikyu was basically a guaranteed trick room. It was, uh, because it gets disguised and that had a lot of purpose in what VGC and Battle Stadium or Battle Spot singles, whatever it was called. Um, perhaps we can make the G Max EV you have, you get have the star EV stats, same with Pikachu. Ooh, so you want Let's Go Pikachu and EV in it. I actually do wish that they were um, transferred into the game as well. Uh, obviously, in Pikachu's case, they might have to complex ban that with Light Ball and they wouldn't complex ban it. But EV, it's fine. I'm trying to use baddie bad, bro, on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Give that Gen 8 Dark Types knockoff. Oh. <laughs> you want Urshifu to get knockoff? I think uh, I think even if Urshifu had knockoff, it'd still click Wicked Blow. Like, 
a hundred percent of the time. I don't think that would make a huge difference for it. But unless they're talking about like Gen 8 Pokemon that are in the game that can't have it, but you can only transfer for it. But these mods need buff by Lightseed, Garchomp get Dragonness as well as Dragonite and Salamence get Dragon Ascent. Okay, so I used to be on the, the bandwagon of Garchomp getting Dragon Disc, but then I realized how good Scale Shot is it. Yes, when you need it to get more than two hits, you will always get two hits because that is the way Pokemon is. But, but I think that the Swords and Scale Shot, like there's so much... The difference between clicking a button to set up and then um, being able to attack while setting up is so huge. That's why mods like Hacksters got banned from lower tiers. And that's why Garchomp is high tier, high tier OU. Because Swords Dance, Stone Edge, Earthquake, Seal Shot is beautiful. You can set up and you can make it so Scarfers can't revenge kill you. I think that it actually is I argue, I'd argue that it is better now with Swords Dance, Scale Shot than it would be with Dragon Dance 3 attacks. Mainly because you're able to still boost plus 2 and you get your speed boost. That's my that's my personal opinion. Dragon and Salamence, bro, you crazy. <laughs> also, I wish you got a fairy typing or whatever when he mega it. I do wish his move pull was a little more in depth as well. I mean, it got close combat knockoff, iron tail, play rough. Like it doesn't really need a lot on the physical, in my opinion. But I also agree it should have been dark fairy. Look, all I'm saying is Delibird deserved better, bro. It, it it for sure. It needs to evolve into Santa or something. Plasma fist for Electivire. If you're feeling generous, an additional 10 to 15 in speed. And now we're looking at a potential UU threat. Uh, I think 10 to 15 speed is a big one, uh, more so than even plasma fist. At 317, that base 90 speed ain't too much, but base 100, base, uh, what is that, base 105? I like, I like base 105 as well. Uh, I like the fact that you're faster than, um, like, a Dragon and, and stuff like that. I think mean, base 100 would do it for you too. Yeah, base 100 is good, especially because it's one of the few Electrotypes right now that has an ice move, right? I'm not talking about like Archizol. I'm not talking about like Weather Ball, Raikou, or Skull. Why the hell did they give Raikou Skull? But I being able to like threaten something like Landorus defensively and like Plasma Fist. Plasma Fist would be pretty cool. Honestly, there's so much art of Electivire, even the TCG art, that looks like it's just using Plasma Fist. One of the first things that comes to mind is giving Seto a physical attack stat. All of its good moves are physical. Game Freak seems to forget it as its base 85 attack stat. Yo, fact. It gets Swords Dance, it has Earthquake, it has Drain Punch, it has Leaf Blade, it has Rock Slide. Um, I guess Dragon Claw too, if you want to look at that. They definitely should give it a better physical attack stat. I don't know why they do this. But then again, it has unburned, so maybe it'd be too much as well. Lantern give it an evolution. Delmise raises defensive stats. I feel like that makes a lot of sense when it comes for Delmise too, because it's the anchor. It's supposed to hold you down, bro. It should definitely have bigger defenses, even though it already has three typings because of its ability. And also for physical ice types, we need an ability similar to Sam Force for hail. Yes. I need some ice breakers or something like that, bro. Luxury would be okay with 10 base speed and a better move pull to take advantage of its physical attack and intimidate. Um... So when, you, when it comes to Luxray, let's think of like the gut set, right? You have like Sewer Power, you have Facade, you have Wild Charge, and I guess a Fang. Uh, not a lot you can give it physical that makes a lot of sense for what it is. Flare Blitz, maybe? Because I don't even know. Because it's Guts and it's on fire. That'd be cool, right? If you could hold a Flame Orb, you can just have a fire move. Then we're just breaking the whole limitation of the Pokemon. I think you should have 100 attack, 106 speed, and access to Poltergeist. That, that's it. It would be even better with these changes. Or at least buff Shadow Claw so it goes from 70 to 90. Make Shadow Claw 80, in my opinion. Shadow Claw should be 80. I know it has a high crit ratio, but damn, man, Ghost types got shafted. Uh, I think the reason they didn't give Mimikyu Poltergeist is because it'd be broken. <laughs> Especially in Dynamax meta game, man. Uh, luckily, it has Shadow Claw, but Poltergeist is already strong in hell as it is. It's the same reason they didn't give it Dragon Bolt. They, made, they already knew. They made Ghost types better, bro. That's about better ability to use like Tough Claws. It can be difficult to use with the Emerge Exit. It works well as an offensive wall. Spike Center, Buff Septile, give it better coverage. Ice type shafted hard. Hell not great. Give it more coverage or make Hell teams work. So, Tough Claws makes sense. It, it has claws. It's a tough Pokemon. It's a really strong Pokemon. It'd be a high tier Pokemon. Spikes offensive. You could actually make use of its Swords Dance and Bulk Upsets, which I think would be really cool, especially when it has recovery. It'd kind of be similar to um, a Buzzwall in a sense, but uh, Water Bug, which is amazing offensive coverage, especially with everything it has. It has Poison Jab and stuff like that too for Feeny. I would say it's a Viper, boosted speed to 90 BST and increased attack and special attack stat to 95 or 100. So, so Viper has an a, a interesting move pool. Um, like it has Earthquake and it has like Flamethrower and obviously Sludge Bomb and, and Switcheroo, which is really cool when it comes to survival. I really like Snake Pokemon. I, I really, I really do. And it has like Coil as well. So you can do like Coil Sucker Punch type of thing. Hell yeah, man. Make his attack better. This mod is so cool. I think Survivor is one of the coolest mods and like maybe it's not even the, um, 
Yeah, it's, it's mainly the speed that needs it. Base 65 just does not cut it for this Pokemon at all. I love that it gets Shed Skin as well. So it reminds me of Arbok. Obviously, it was supposed to replace uh, Jesse's Arbok, but I love it. It gets Swords Dance too, dude. Like, Swords Dance Earthquake, Knockoff Sucker, or Swords Dance, uh, what is it? Poison, yeah, Poison Jab, Earthquake, Sucker Punch. Yeah, I might use this. <laughs> well, Corona with Scorching Sand, stop. That's just banned. Rapid Strike or Shifu with Flip Turn. I think U-turn a little bit better just because it stops like it doesn't stop water absorb, but I mean flip turn is good for coverage. Dark type with strong draw greater than rivalry and more speed. Okay. Buff the Watts attack and speed to 100 so it can use it without a buffing. <laughs> I think we know Curry's favorite Pokemon. Curry Pastry. I love I love that name too. Typhlosion would expand on the moveset by giving more special attacks that are viable at high level play. Uh so like Giga Drain or Ice Beam. I mean it's a fire type, it has focus blast. It has its fire move as well. Um, it also has. Does it really need much else? Like I'm trying to think. Like it's just its stats need better. Like eruption and fire move you need and focus blast. I guess because hidden power is gone, giving it grass knot would make a difference when it came to this Pokemon. Yeah, I, I think grass knot would be like the the easiest way to uh, to not break it, but to give it something. Charizard needs a new phone to make it suck less. I'm gonna make it fire ice to counter flying, steel, and dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really hate. Yeah, I really be sarcastic about Charizard. Beezer and Aridos could both use some buffs to their speed. Oh, Aridos for sure, dude. That mod is so cool as well. Like, I, I feel like Aridos is such a cool. Yeah, I remember Pokemon Heroes. This is one of my favorite movies. Aridos is one of the coolest mods. The way it just looks, the way it attacked in that game, and it already has a good move pool as well. It got like Sneak, got, it has Swords and Stomping Tantrum, got Sucker Punch, got Poison Jab, got Mega Horn, but it also has base 40 speed and only base 90 attack. Give it a little bit more. Beedrill got its Mega, so I'm not going to comment about that too much. Hunter could get a better physical move pool or buff to its special attack. I feel like Brave Bird Sucker Punch. Um, Brave Bird Sucker Punch Super Power are great. Maybe just knock off over Night Slash. Slazzle could use a buff to its special attack. Does it? Base 110 is good. Base 111, excuse me, is good. And it has Nasty Plot now, too. Maybe to its, like, actual set. But even then, it has good coverage all around. Dreadnought can get buffs to both attack and defense. I think defense, for sure. It's gonna take. It's already a very good mod, but giving it some physical fire move and skill link with a multi-poison hitting move. Oh, I love the idea of a multi-poison hitting move. I do like, if we're gonna give Skuntank something, maybe, like, Fire Lash. I, I kind of like the idea, like, behind it, because it has, like, pause. <laughs> My logic is flawless. Terminator, Karakasi, even after Shell Smash is still outspent by every Scarf and every Pokemon with a decent speed tier. So they want to make it faster. Uh, Terminator, it's a little bit disappointing to me, because it's not Reshiram. Also, like I said, guys, I'm kind of just going through this one, but I, uh, in the future, I'm going to pick, like, maybe, like, 15 minutes 20 minutes worth of some that stand out to me and kind of expand on them and i'll be editing and i'll be putting like little things i like i said i got ridiculous amount of replies i got a ridiculous amount of replies to this like a thousand plus replies so i want to try and get through as many as i can so i appreciate you guys uh obviously listening and watching if you're at the point if you enjoyed the video so far feel free to subscribe and leave some comments on what you want buff uh but yeah terminator specifically is a big one give it earth power too gudra other pseudo legendaries are better in singles even in doubles it's good or average depending on the meta it's either it needs either better ability or reliable recovery or boosting move. Dragon Dance or Quiver Dance. I think just uh, recovery would make sense for this Pokemon. Not soft boiled. Just give it recover. Just straight up give it recover. It looks like the type, or, or uh, some version of it, like some sort of plasma recover or something. It just it looks like a Pokemon. It's gooey, right? It melts. Just give it recovery. Give it to, uh, to, to freaking Swallow too. And Muck. Give Muck recover as well. Battle Toy, uh, Clay Doll, wider move pool, increases both special defense and defense. Lower speed, maybe, for more effectiveness. So, actually, Clay Doll has an amazing move pool. I don't know if y'all guys knew. Um, the thing about Clay Doll that makes it trash is its stats. That's, that's just it. Like, it's it's 60 base HP makes it trash. Um, and, in fact, it doesn't need more defense or special defense because it's 105 and 120. It just needs more HP. Like, make it base 80 or uh, base 85 or something. Um, because its special move pool is really good. Like, I'll read some good special moves it has. Dr uh, Dazzling Gleam, Earth Power, Expanding Force, Grass Knot, Ice Beam, uh, Scorching Sand, Shadow Ball, Stored Power. Like, it has good moves. It just sucks. 
leave you out. Just throw some more points and speed and attack. Give it some more good physical moves. And that's all, really. You probably want Earthquake on leave you out, I'm assuming. Everybody just wants to make everything broken. And I'm all for it. A metagame like that means nothing's broken. Or everything is broken and we ban everything. Give Pegoro Sucker Punch would be cool with Stab and Iron Fist, especially since it's not tanky or fast. Give more Mons spikes. Ground types like Flygon, Mons like Token Tomorrow actually spikes. Token Tomorrow specifically, I think, needs spikes and Rabbit Spin as well. Alolan Raichu Surge Surfer should work on any terrain, not just electric. I agree. It has Surge Surfer, and they're all called Grassy Surge, Psychic Surge. Benjamin, you out here, bro. Pyro, it's not in Sword and Shield, but it's my favorite Pokemon. It's upsetting that it gets Mox with boost attack, and its attack stats suck. Facts. Facts. Pyro is garbage. Pyro is just straight up garbage. How are you going to give it 68? You're going to give it Rivalry, Unnerve, and Moxie, and all the stats just suck, bro. Bro, it gets Flare Blitz. It gets Wild Charge. That's... This mon sucks. Holy crap. Give it something, man. Make it not suck. Let it compete with Arcanine on the physical side. Grass not Reggie Alecky. Bro, Dwayne. No. Steelix, because he's my favorite Pokemon, give him a new Mega or Regional form that makes him go fast. <laughs> I like Mega Steelix. Uh, a Regional form of Steelix is interesting, though. Give Inteleon Focus Blast and Psychic. Also changes Hidden Ability to Drizzle. It got the least the most full Hidden Ability. Cinderace is anything it wants to be a really with a super great Grass type. So it'd be fair to make Inteleon a super Water type. <laughs> Yo, you're not giving Inteleon... With the stupid focus energy plus that drizzle to get another boost as well. You crazy, but um, might as well just make it Greninja at that point. I think Focus Blast I'd be okay with. Um, this Focus Blast because like being able to hit Pharaoh is a pretty big one. Has Ice Beam, Dark Pulse as average uh, options. Uh, we already talked about uh, Jump Plop, Tail Glow, and Frost because I love Air I wanted to meet these with my boy. I mean, it should have got Tail Glow. I mean, the literal thing is it glows its tail. And uh, helps the, the, the people at sea find their way because of the, the lighthouse. That's the lore behind it. So, for sure, it should have Tailgill. Also, Tailgill should be back in the game. Go to needs to be sighted typing. It's embarrassing that it hasn't happened. I feel like they didn't do that, though, just because just Gen 1 had a, a lot of broken water psychics, right? And you got Starmie, you got Slowbro. So, like, Gen 1 had a lot. And, and Psychic was also incredibly busted in Gen 1 as well. So, all the psychics are, like, basically OU. And, yeah, like, I mean, it'd be competing with those when it comes to it uh, though I mean it's weird because it's slower than Starmie but it has Calm Mind which would be the difference but even in Gen 1 it didn't Calm Mind wasn't it wasn't running that so because I don't believe it was a move <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure we got that in Gen 3 from uh, the uh, what is it Tate and Lisa was that their names I give Dragon on Dragon Rush because it needs a stab boosted by sheer force I always thought that scale shot should be boosted by Share Force too, but it doesn't really have a secondary ability. Like it lowers your defense and raises your speed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Dragon Rush is fine. I mean, it's not anything overbroken. So I need something like Sword Dance or Flare Blitz. Hell yeah, Flare Blitz. Um, see, Flare Blitz or Fire Lash. I'm good with. Like, I mean, it stinks. It's all fire. I mean, it makes it. It make it, it makes your eyes water. Hell yeah, make it give it Flare Blitz. A buff to the Gen 5 starters would be cool. As much as I love them, they can be un underwhelming and competitive. I think every mom but Superior should be touched. Megas with new abilities would be nice and ideal, at least. So you want Megas back, or Megas of them with new abilities. For example, an ability for Samurai that buffs Slash and Sword type moves would include Razor Shell. Ooh, so you could use Sacred Sword plus Razor Shell and Sword's Dance and actually do- I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Light Ball should be a three times boost, not two times a damn mascot. I can have something a little ridiculous like that. Hey, hey. Yo, hey. Hey. Danny. Danny. Bro. Bro. It's okay. It's all, bro, just play Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, man. We're not making Pikachu that broken. Santa Conda, either give him more base HP for more bulk or give him more speed. I love Santa Conda as, like, the thing I love about Santa Conda, it's, it's, well, it's a snake. So I really love snake type Pokemon. But uh, I love that it's unique, like, in the fact that it's, the, you know, a ground type that you know, goes for coil. Uh, I love that a lot. I love the shed skin on it. I mean, a lot of the snakes do that. So it makes sense that this one would be able to, too. Yeah, you got, like, Arbok and, yeah, Survivor. But... A little bit more speed probably wouldn't be anything pushing for it, but I think the biggest thing that it just needs more HP. Everything in from this gen and last generation just so not bulky, bro. Why they make their HP stats so pathetic? Give Guaranteed a Dragon Dance is much. It'll be much more dangerous, bro. I already have to fight stupid Dynamax, Poltergeist, Home Claws, Dual Wing Beat, Guaranteed, and Rambaz, dude. I ain't trying to see this thing Dragon Dance in my face. 
Just make sure somehow the slow start doesn't reset upon switch or lower the amount of turns from from five to two to three. Reason this is not balancing; it's just crippling its usable levels and singles at least. Uh, I'd be okay with either of those. I think that the three is. Um, I think the 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 it doesn't reset upon switching is, is more manageable, especially because if you stayed with five turns with your Reggie Gigas, you should be able to use it. Power more special attack, more HP, give it intimidate and better move pool, make him as more special oriented Arcanine. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really have, yeah, in terms of move pool, it doesn't really have much. Like Hyper Voice and Fire Blast, uh, you'd probably have to give it, I don't even know, like Aura Sphere? Even then, like, why? Why would you give it Aura Sphere? Dunsparce, 1000%. Great moves, but needs a small overall buff. Base stats are pretty rough. I used one for my playthrough in uh, Ultra Moon, and it has the potential to be absolutely amazing if it was just slightly buffed. I think Dunsparce actually has. The potential to be incredibly annoying. Like, think of a Jirachi that can use Coil uh, and Roost, right? So, uh, I actually leveled up one of my Dunsparces to level 100 in Fire Red because I was waiting for it to evolve to Gligar. I... Moving on. Um, yeah, base 70 is just sucky, man. Gen 2 stats are, again, anything Gen 4 and down, uh, specifically probably Gen 3 and down, mainly. Uh, but a lot of the Gen 4 and down mods don't have the best stats that's why they constantly buff gen 1 mons and gen oh, well, not really gen 2 too much but gen 1 mons because they're the ones with the original stats they didn't know how high up pokemon was going to be or how crazy pokemon was going to be hey, there's a pokemon with 504 attack everyone else needs a dragon type yeah without mega i see that all right i'm not reading that silver snowman you ain't buffing charizard not today tropius stats move full abilities typing all of his bad except for the design which is incredible could be buffed several ways. Abilities don't do it many favors, so they can be swapped out and give it some great coverage and viable offensive stats or even more HP and defenses. Uh, ground, it would just need, I think it just needs better, um, it needs better flying coverage, I feel, for its, for its physical set, right? Like, if you use Dragon Dance, Earth, uh, Earthquake, Leaf Blade, you need a better flying attack, for sure. You need something, like, I don't know if Dual Wing Beat is it, but... They definitely need something for that. Make a, a regional variant of Parasite. Maybe a, po a Pokemon's first Grass Fire type buff. And change around its base stats to around 460 range. Current base stats 405. And give it good signature ability. Maybe give Parasect the ability. Because it's like the Spore Pokemon. To either. If it's out on the field for too long. To like naturally just confuse an opponent. Or enlighten them. Depending on what you're doing with those Spores. But uh, like something like that. Like I, I think that'd be really cool. I like Grass Fire as well, especially because we have Heavy Duty Boots. It has Leech Seed, it has Leech Light. Oh, Leech Life wouldn't even matter, but I like Grass Fire. I guess Scarmory 20 points buff and stats like they did with Mantine. Supposed to rival Corviknight is 30 points above. Yeah, it's already too bulky. Also give Dripple and Thunderous some type of special flying coverage, either Hurricane or Air Slash. I think Air Slash is less broken. Hurricane is amazing on Thunderous. That'd be crazy. But yeah, Air Slash I'd be okay with. I love Vika Bolt, which doesn't seem fencing ability to really hold its own. His move pulls a bit lack. Luckily, uh, lack less thing. I think that Levitate is still amazing for that mod though. Give it maybe two coverage moves, a boost in HP, and maybe defenses, and give it an ability besides levitate. Maybe drop its speed too. Wait. Wait, so you want to make it slower, but fatter. Okay. Glacian, just another coverage move would be amazing, though changing its hidden belly from Ice Body to Snow Warrior and giving it Aurora Veil would work too. Ooh. Now, if they did that, if they did that, would they have to change all the EVs and Umbreons? Would Vaporeon have to have Drizzle? Would Flareon have to have Drought? Would Jolteon have to have Electric Terrain? Uh, Grassion. Leafion needs Grassy Surge, right? Umbreon makes it dark out. Like, what are we, what are we doing with Umbreon? And that's beyond. What is, what is that beyond? I don't even know what that. Is. They have to give us some more things with that. But I like that. Uh, Espeon is obviously like um, Psychic Surge, but what would Umbreon be? What would you even do for Umbreon? What type be? It would be like makes accuracy lower because it's nighttime or something give my boy letty and way more attack and some speed facts bro letty has such a cool design i don't care what anybody says the punching freaking lightning bug uh lightning bug ladybug i love it empoleon please the penguin does it does nothing but roost and waddle seriously though yeah i guess a recovery for empoleon would be great i agree it was such an amazing defensive pokemon and like even like back in last generation with z moves i had to use protect and stuff for leftovers for recovery get a roost Trying to lower the power, cool, that's alright, but then the reach is just old booger mods and even faster mods. I can see it. Golduck, I have to say, typing. Golduck already has a solid uh, and wide move pool, but it's being mono water really lets it down, sadly. Adding psychic type to it and giving him more stab choices really make it beneficial. Would it be a major overkill buff for it? I agree. Not anything crazy for uh, for Golduck at all. It just gives it a way of dealing with packs, and everybody loves Pokemon that deal with packs, don't they? When Pokemon used to Mega Evolve, they changed their abilities, but Ash's Greninja didn't. So once it changes its form, then give it Protean, and when it reverts back, of course, it'll be bad. Oh my god. 
Well, wait a second. Does that even matter? You use Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump, and Water Shuriken, period, on Ash Greninja. The only other option is either Ice Beam or Spikes, and most opted for Spikes, so that way they could Dark Pulse, Flinch, Assault Vest, Tango later, or Dark Pulse, Beat, Talk Spikes later. I feel like Protean wouldn't be anything nasty on that set. Even the guy, okay, dial that back. I just said Spikes so you could beat Tango. And it also has extra sensory and spikes so it can be toxic bugs. We're not giving you the Pokemon 399, 400, 405, what, special attack? 405 special attack? Something like that? Stab extra sensory with a choice specs. Never mind. Nope, 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 nope. Came it. Nope. Letting add 62 as a tax stat. Hell yeah. Absolutely. It's great attack stat. Means nothing with bad speed and paper thin defenses. Give it fluffy over justified. Fluffy. I don't think it's that fluffy of a Pokemon. It would have Mega Evolved. I'll have to stay longer and give it a better speed tier to be a niche, a glass cannon. Otherwise, Absol could benefit from secondary typing of Fairy. Well, the last point we have access to Earthquake and Hurricane could be interesting, but less ridiculous. I think that's a really good, uh, this is a really good thought process. It's also disaster Pokemon, having access to Earthquake and Hurricane. It's true. When Absol appears, it means disaster follows. These are really good. I like that as well. I, I really like that. This is, this is, this Crimson is smart. Your design was too frail fast to make it way tankier or way faster. Faster would probably be the big thing. I mean, they did that with Mega Absol, though. I just want Gengar to get levitated again. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people say this, but I really like Gengar with Cursed Body. Not only is it game-changing, there's plenty of times where I've been Cursed Body in tournaments as well as on the ladder where I've just... Um, where I've just... Um, like, basically lost because of it. But also... It being able to uh, to just absorb the the toxic spike, I think it's game changing in the meta game where we have Pokemon like toxic spike. So it gives them some utility outside of that. And the thing about being immune to ground is that doesn't help you beat most ground types anyway. Garchomp has Stone Edge and Scale Shot. Lantern has Knock Off and Stone Edge still does a lot. Um, you have Extra Drill uh, as well that can Mold Breaker or Iron Head, which does a ton. So like it's not really doing it too much. Only it's like for her pattern, even then it could potentially run rock or just whirlwind you out. So I feel like it doesn't really give that much to Gengar. But then again, in VGC, where you could Earthquake next to Landorus, that makes a big difference. Basically, any Pokemon with the Leaf Guard ability would be better off with a new ability. Also, okay, first of all, that's facts. That is facts. Every Pokemon Leaf Guard, give it Chlorophyll or give it Solar Power. Facts. Facts own. And Zarud? Oh, don't get me started, bro. That boy should have tough claws. And maybe give ice types a definite buff and hail like rock or defense buff, excuse me. A buff and hail like rock types get a spadef buff and hail. Hail is easily the worst weather and ice could use some helping. I was thinking um that as well as a special attack investment as well. Uh I really I really like that. I think the defense buff could be pretty cool too. Uh, it's not like it makes too much of a difference, but Alola Nine Tails having plus defense and then setting a roar go, I kinda like that. Kinda like that a lot. Shininja gave it first impression and put all of his defense and special attack into attack. <gasps> okay, let me let me let me look at this real quick. Let me look at Shininja real quick. This boy has 90 base attack. So you want to put 45. Hold on, what do we say here? Put all of his defense and special attack into attack. All of his defenses and special attack. So let's 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 just add this all together real quick. Not at speed though. All of his defenses and special attack. So it has 90, right? We do 90 plus 45. Plus 30, plus 30. So we want Shedinja to have 195 base attack. Now, if we look at the calc, we can actually look at what that is. Let me just see what that is. Let's put it on a bomb. So let me add them in nature as well. So let's make this thing 195. Oh. Yeah, it's not so bad. Nothing like 537 attack on my Shedinja, bro. You, <laughs> That's wild. Flower gift should be an Omni boost to Cherim. Yes, 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 yes. It's a gift of flowers. Forget helping your teammates and stuff like that. Except for VGC, it doesn't matter. In single, make it be an Omni boost. Give it something. Give Clank, Clank, Clank higher power. That's really all it needs to be somewhat useful. Uh, maybe Bulldoze instead of High Horse Power. Uh, power. I feel like Bulldoze makes more sense than High Horse Power, just barely, but I think it does. Which needs a buff. We already read Luxury Frost. Buff. It needs a signature move or an additional effect. On its ability, something that fixes the shallow move pool or the speed, ideally. So, would you want ice scales to uh, not only buff your special defense, but maybe when you're boosted, like you have a boosted, it actually doubles your speed? Imagine going for Quiver Dance and having like 600 speed in just one turn. Magic Art Blissey, it's the only answer. All right, Finchinator. 
I feel like Oricorio in all its forms is a really good concept, but without the stats to back them up, maybe an increase in speed would do it good, but it wouldn't feel right to make it bulky considering the small and light designs. I like the idea of speed. Um, I love Oricorio. I love the way it dances. I love its dancer ability. I think it's it's very fun to like bring it in on like in lo when it was around in lower tiers, uh, to like bring it in on Lilligant going for Quiver Dance and just immediately copy it in Quiver Dance back. Parasect, Pumpkin Jungle gave us nothing on this. Clawfish is more solid, but it can be so much better. I would give it 15 more attack, 5 more speed, and more to its defenses. They've done stuff like this before. Quite frankly, Clawfish deserves it. It would still be far from crazy, but it will be way better. Okay, thank you, Puffer. Um, Clawfish should have an evolution. If I'm, if we're going to do anything to Clawfish, I think it should have an evolution. Uh, because, again, it's a Gen 2 mod, and again, it suffers from you know Gen 2 syndrome. It's a, It came out in a generation where power creep was not as crazy as it is right now. So it should for sure... For sure, have a sort of buff. So that's how, like, please give my dudes more special attacks. Yeah, we really need that. I agree. Crazy how they gave it Megan the Lightning Rod, but didn't give it T Bolt. Because <laughs> it's the Christmas tree. Interesting. I don't know how if that makes sense, but like the lights are on the Christmas tree. Maybe from Samurai. I know they're not all stars are created equal, but they should be a bit more equal than they are. Give it an actual good hidden ability, like the Fine. Give it access to Fake Out and our Shell Smash. Then maybe it could at least have a niche. So Fake Out, I think, is more so obviously VGC. But Defiant is really cool. Uh, I like, I love priority mons like like Bisharp that uh, can come in and deter uh, Defog and also have Orange Master Swords Dance and already has like Sacred Sword, Super Power, has good coverage or decent coverage. So I like that. Tough Claws, we already talked about this with Moxie Boosted. 100% should have that. Pick an Ice type. Ice weaknesses and resistance as a whole need a root factor. Hmm. Do you guys think that Ice should resist water? Or um, I feel like that would be a really big buff to it. Or should they just give every ice type freeze dry? <laughs> so they could actually touch everything. Sorry, my headset is like broken, so I taped it together. <laughs> I don't follow or keep with the Pokemon meta. This post is only a set of appreciation. Dark Void, when it comes back, give him original Dark Void. Facts. Okay, so they when they uh, nerfed Dark Void, they said only Dark Rack can use it, but then they were like, hey, wait, uh, let's uh let's make it also 50% accurate. That's dumb. 80 was fine, and the only reason they nerfed Dark Void is because uh, Smeargle was broken with it, right? But if you make it so only Dark Rack can use it, Smeargle can't use it, and you're good. I feel like it definitely needs a boost to more special attack, more power, which is special attack, we're talking about water. I would love Zoroark's illusion ability to get a buff when moves gain extra damage, when illusion is still active. Kind of like a, a replicate a sneak attack, backstab, damage, and Dungeons and Dragons playing as a rogue. Also some fairy coverage would have been nice. So, uh, I... I kind of like that. Uh, you know how Ditto gets stabbed because it transforms into the literal Pokemon, so of course it's going to get stabbed. If we make... Uh, holy crap, my mic is completely falling off at this point. If we make Illusion give Zoroark stab, that could be nasty, but Zoroark only has uh, Dark Moves and you know Grass Knot, Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, but if it becomes a, a Heat Train, it actually does damage like stab. Damn, you won't even be able to figure out which one it is. That might actually be crazy. Maybe it can't be stabbed. But maybe like a life bar boost, like a 1.3 times boost, or even 1.2 times boost. Ah, uh, so they want the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Casper needs a sand form as well as just stab boost in general. It needs to be uh, given a weather based evolution with the evolving mechanic based on the weather it, uh, it leveled up in. Ooh. I do think that Cast Form needs better stats as well. I think it's uh, a cool concept of a Pokemon, but they never really did it. Pokemon that changes with the weather, but can't really abuse it. And he has a great move pool, Thunder, Fire Blast, Blizzard. I'm just like naming what I got hit with in <laughs> Pokemon. Was that XD Gale Darkness or Coliseum? I don't remember which one. Uh, I think it was XD Gale Darkness. But yeah, it definitely needs them. It was like, it was like I think it was XD Gale Darkness and it was in that uh, that ROM thing where you were doing like the CD ROM stuff. Cramorant, maybe Brady's special attack to 100 because it could be amazing. And VGC with Storm Drain, also more Pico, but nothing too drastic since Oreo Wheels already had a good finally Give him Pheasant more physical attacks. I don't even like it. I just kind of feel bad for it at this point. I mean, the only thing you can give him Pheasant that would put it on like par with other birds like Star Raptor would be Close Combat, right? Because it's U-Turn, uh, turn Roost, Spray Bird. Super Leg is also nasty as well. Sand Slash, more attack, a bit more speed wouldn't be so bad reasoning. I like that mon. <laughs> uh, so they want it to be a better Sand Abuser, but I feel like Extra already does it. Give Shuckle huge power. More seriously, let Shield Force effect moves like uh, Pluck, where it boosts the power and removes the secondary effect alongside removing increased crit ratio. Uh, moves like Night Slash or Air Slash. Buff Shield Force Bravery, please. Okay, so this one is a pretty cool concept as well because they are completely reworking Shield Force. I, I do agree that Shield Force should work on uh, moves that just do anything, right? Not just have like secondary effects where. Um, 
you 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 can burn or take recoil or you can burn excuse me or freeze or whatever but i do like this because it would also make the weaker moves a lot better and bravery is a good example for that because all bravery has for sheer force is rock slide gift to terror huge power a lot of older mon stat and he's buff abilities and moves included gift to terror huge power okay <laughs> i agree with the second line I say Frost Mob Duraludon because they need very little to be great. Duraludon is either Fire Blast or Death Ability. Oh, it can't have both, and I think a Death Ability is too much, but not both. It'd be too much. Yeah, <laughs> I just didn't even read the sentence. As for Frost Mob, these Freeze Dry and a stat buff and speed to base 90 to 100. Ideally, it would be the same BST as Volcarona. Uh, again, Ice that can hit water still will be walled by like common steel types. I'd be okay with that as long as I didn't give it Roost or Earth Power. Generally, my two favorite types are Bug and Poison, both of which are very weak overall. Usually require something else busted about them to be usable, like Speed Boost, BP, or Baton Pass, Busted, Second Type, etc. Bug, super effective against Fairy instead of Resist. Poison, super effective on Water, maybe one more Resist. Huh. You can poison the Water Supply, so it makes the Water not good. I'm okay with that. I also think that Bug should Resist and be super effective on Fairy, too. Fairy is just too good, and Bug doesn't have enough. Charizard. All of its moves should be super effective against everything and also one shot. Thank you, Sonic Robin, for that amazing insight. I want Dragon Dance, Garchomp. Yeah, I never talked about that. I don't want that. Electric Fighting or Fairy Zero or Ice Punch. I think Electric Fighting could be cool on that. Electric Dark also makes a lot of sense too, but Electric Fighting makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't if it's Electric Fighting. I wouldn't buff anything else about it. It'd be too much if it has Ice Punch. Mawal Kangaskhan kind of low penny Houndoom, Doom, Manetric Absol. All the mods that were normally seen as bad finally saw usage when they got a Mega and now are mostly forgotten. I think it's different per mod, but a stat boost, moveset boost, or both could really help them all. Uh, Lopini got a huge, like a lot of buffs. I like, got uh, U turn, it has close combat, it's triple axle now. So if, if, if Megas do come back, which I actually wholeheartedly believe they will uh, eventually, um, that's, that's crazy for it. Kangaskhan. Doesn't need a lot. Mawa has a good move pool as well. Maybe Fire Punch over Fire Fang for its sheer force set. Manetric, what, what could you possibly give it? Grass Knot. Grass Knot. You find it in the grass on that bridge, man. You find Electric in that grass. Zorak's so moveset. The only special attack that learns by level up is Night Days. On level 46, as much as it still has a higher special attack, it shouldn't have. Let it learn more special attack, have less attack stat, and at least a little more defense or special defense or special attack and make it useful. <laughs> Magmortar, uh, my man needs a speed buff, quite honestly. Also give it Flash Fire to rival Electivire's Motor Drive. Ooh. Additionally, give Samurott a different hit ability like Aftermath for Swiss Swim. Swiss Swim is fine. I think that if we're going to give it to rival Motor Drive, uh, then maybe give it Steam Engine, but I guess it doesn't make sense for Magmortar because it's not really an engine. Yeah, Flash Fire, I'm okay with. Give it Slush Rush instead of Snow Cloak. Oh my god. So Ground and Ice is some of the best offensive typing. And this dude just said, yeah, let's give it Slush Rush. Let's double Mammal Swine Speed. Oh my god. Just give Meganium anything. Anything, please, bro. We'll give it the trash. Ferion deserves better. A higher speed would go a long way in helping its viability. Yeah, a lot of people used to say that about Flareon. When it, all it needs was Superpower. All it needs was Flare Blitz. They give it everything. Still bad. Speed would obviously be you. I think Ice Typing generally is a buff. They should buff Beaver by adding back to the game. Garchomp has Dragon Dance. Give Electivire actual setup moves like Bulk Up, Work Up, and a proper Electric Stab in Zing Zap or Plasma Fist. I think Plasma Fist makes the most sense. Give Rojak coverage moves that benefit from Technician. Facts. Give them all their first impression. Hell yeah. Give Lilligan actual coverage like Weather Ball. I'd be okay. I think none of those are overly busted. Uh, and I like the fact that Armaldo gets first impression. Wishy Washi double its stats in every category and may, might make it buy up. Dude. No. 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 I'd love to see Worm and Dev all get a nice extra ability each. What would you even do for them, man? Would this be another terrain one? Like, Worm and Dev just bad. But, like, one of them having Sandstorm and then the, 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 the other one having... What would the Steel one even do? What are you doing with Worm and Dev? What, how can we make... I think the best way to make Worm and Dev good is to use a different Pokemon. <laughs> I think Star needs some help. It's classic victim the power creep stats plus 20 and switch attack minus attack 150 speed is usable Plus 100 special attack isn't what it used to be ability illuminates a regenerator starfish can regrow limbs Yes, moves focus blast energy ball and nasty plot. Okay, so nasty plot I'm fine with because it gave nasty plot to everything. I think that regen makes a lot of sense as well and I love regen plus heavy duty boots. That sounds great with a rapid spinner um, It has grass knot, so I don't think it needs energy ball focus blast. I think is too much especially if you give it these Pikachu, the mascot franchise needs some love after a number of years is giving it buffing it with part of the Pikachu stats of Volt Absorb plus Lightning. <laughs> Yo, y'all just want to break Pikachu, huh? 
Make both the Delcat attack and set 7 fire. We won't make it a great Pokemon or anything, but we'll at least make it half functional for a playthrough and allow it to take advantage of a solid move. Yo, this dude just wants to play through his Nuzlocke with Delcaddy. They're tired of losing to, to, to freaking Watson's Magneton. <laughs> Slacking. This guy's name is Slacking. Make it so that when it does attack, it attacks... Its attack breaks through protect, and on the uh, off turns, he's able to use slack off. The dex does say it's saving its energy for big attacks after all. Huh. It's around about an hour, uh, so I'm going to read through some of the quoted ones. Get Bula Grassy Glide, you cowards. <laughs> it should have gotten Grassy Glide. Uh, honestly, it would make it uh, different than uh, Rillaboom, and actually really good, really good too. Honestly, most Pokemon pre-Gen 5 or Gen 6 need a buff. Power Keep has gotten, I said this multiple times, I think not... Uh, I think, uh, not pre-gen 6, but pre-gen 5. So gen 4 and down, all need a buff. The boy Seton needs more. Gives the strike and flare out actual moves. All stars and legendaries should be viable unless uh, starts, uh, let's lower states they shouldn't be. Okay. Give some Strikeout and Flare on actual moves. Set Striker in general, I think, needs a lot. Like, it has Sap Sipper. Doesn't really abuse it too well. Um, but we can't give, we can't make every Pokemon good. I'm not going to do this, read this one again. You guys just have to see it. Veleon, uh, what would you give it? Something besides a hurricane, like I don't think earth power makes a lot of sense. I mean, mud shot, just mud shot. Does Vivillon get mud shot or Vivillon? Excuse me. Or seven far the only good bug move is U turn. Facts. Uh, first impression of Leech Life are pretty good too, but you don't you rarely see them. And first impression is limited. Dragon is Garchomp. Eh, give like rocks other forms something better abilities, better moves. I don't think the moves are the problem. I think the moves are all fine on them. Um, the stat, it, it's really tough. To change them because they're all supposed to be different, right? Like the uh, the tough claws one, like about dust is the best one, right? By far competitive, uh, and the worst one is I can't even tell which one's the worst one. The other two are just pretty bad, but they can't make them all good. My God, Phil, Mega Zerk, you got your the Mega That's all sorts of sands like you should have had. I remember reading Blacephala having scorching sands in the uh, in the leak. Of the the move set, and I feel like that'd be such a broken one, but I would love it too. Imagine burning Tyranitar, and there's not even pursuit. They already made ghost types too good. Uh, give Tauros more special attack. I want my gem one boy back. With Sheer Force, that'd be cool too. Zero motion have a massive uh, buff arms and dragon skills, and be five water dragon. What's the one with the fairy? It's not fair for Zacian to be the obvious choice compared to Zamazenta. At least give him body press, dude. Facts. Body press should have always been there. It. It needs to be comparable. They need to be comparable. They, I mean, body press at least would make it viable. Should you give him a champ fissure, it would be awesome. <laughs> give Incineroar a follow me and helping hand. His utility is pretty bad. Get out of here, Weedle. <laughs> Just don't literally any coverage. Even a dragon type special ta uh, attack would be better. And dragon coverage sucks in general. Yeah, like dragon pulse still sucks, but yeah, I agree. I have a couple of questions. I'm super cool. I have better defense. So underwear can be more effective. It's still nasty and like stall and stuff. Talk to or any other offensive poison type. Getting baneful bunker and merciless. I like the idea of baneful bunker on more poison types. Um, it makes sense because of the way that uh, toxicity, uh, to uh, tox effects looks. I mean, it goes inside its like little area and whatnot. But I mean, every mon, a lot of mons can use protect and just make a little fortune around those. So why not for Bayful Bunker? No, top is getting terrain moves bro uh, broken. Definitely bring back hidden power as well. All I'm saying is that a period of 50 of its special attack and five of its HP and its spin up would be uh, looking at a real threat. It's already a threat too. Why did the Landers, Thunders not, not get Hurricane? I wanted them to be so OP they got banned. Thank you, Blunder. Give her Shifu Swords Edge. I'm so glad I came to this. This mon sucks, bro. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> this is the, the equivalent of partner Pikachu with a light ball. Shift Force Edge. Dragon. Oh, I've used that in OMs and it's incredible. But Duff. Where is the... Where is the... Is that it? That's the tweet? But no, that's the tweet, guys. I think Duraldon, Shift Gear would be cool in Duraldon, but I do think that uh, Flamethrower would be the biggest buff it could have. Right, I think we're good. We're over an hour. I'm going to leave it at this. I think there's a lot of fun ones. I actually saw one from my buddy, Assess the Threat, talking about Tyranitar having Pursuit uh, in the meta game, and it was like, it was a really, uh, I'm going to see if I can find it. It was, it because they didn't, they didn't explicitly say Pursuit. But it was extremely funny the way the whole line like people just kept going on. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. I would love to do something like this more and just give my thoughts overall, how I feel about it, what I think they're already cool on the Pokemon. Obviously, there's a lot more, so I can do this again. And like I said, this is more free flowing. But in a, later on, I'll uh, I'll do things like actually um, like actually break it down, edit, and do stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching, listening rather. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what Pokemon should be buffed down below. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.